one more question from linear differential equation with constant coefficient. So we need to solve d square plus 1 times y equals to 0. So what we do in this type of question? First step is to find the complementary function. How do we find the complementary function? For that we convert it into from d to m. So when I will replace this d by m, I will get m square plus 1. Now take this m square plus 1 and equate it to 0. In here we are finding the auxiliary equation. So for finding auxiliary equation, we replace d by m and equate this bracket to 0. Okay. From here you are getting m square equals to minus 1. So, m equals to plus minus iota. Now, I can write this m as, uh, as two roots. First one being 0 plus iota. Second one being 0 minus iota. Now, these two are the complex roots. Okay. So, how to write the complementary function for complex root? I have already told you the method. The method is if only we have two roots uh, and suppose uh, this is like a plus iota b and a minus iota b. I write my complementary function as e power ax c1 cos of bx plus c2 sin of bx. So I will follow the same process here also. Here my a plus iota b. So a is 0 and b is 1. So e power 0x c1 cos of 1x that is x only. c2 sine of 1x that is x only. e power 0 is 1. So, my complementary function is c1 cos of x plus c2 sin of x. In this case, the particular integral will be 0 because my RHS is 0 and we find the complement, uh, particular integral from the RHS portion. Now, we write our final solution as cf plus pi. So, it will be c1 cos x plus c2 sin x plus 0. That means this will be my final answer for this question. I hope you understood. Very very simple. First convert it into d form to m form. Equate it to 0. Find the roots. Then apply whatever method suits. And then find the final solution. In case particular integral is 0. Final solution is equal to the complementary function itself. Uh, if you have any problem, you can visit uh, the video on this particular topic. Link is in description as well as comment box.